Derivative of cotangent x squared. Derivative of cotangent x squared. Okay, so x, I'm going to do the x squared first. So I, I, I like to do it. Derivative of cotangent x squared. Finish off your bracket. Okay, quick head nod if you can head nod if you can follow that. Yes. Okay, cool. Follow our DDXs. Here, no DDXs. Here, DDX. Here, DDX. Negative 3. 3 plus x squared cotangent x squared to the negative 4 power. Big bracket. Derivative of x squared, everybody, what is that? Well, that's nice. 2x cotangent x squared. Well, we got that done. Plus. I don't take the derivative of this x squared, I simply follow my ddx x squared. Tell me what happens here, please. What happens here? What happens? No, I need chain rule. For sure, that's a chain rule. Do you guys see the chain rule? Absolutely chain rule. We predicted it right. We had general power rule, product rule, chain rule. So we had that right. Let's go ahead, let's do follow the ddx, do that chain rule. Chain rule says here I'm probably going to have at least a parenthesis to organize my thoughts a little bit. You don't necessarily need it here because it's just a chain rule, you're not adding or subtracting, but it's kind of nice to have. What happens with, with that? What's the derivative of cotangent? Is it? Make sure negative cosecant squared. Negative cosecant squared. So I'd like it in parentheses just because I know it's a negative. I don't want to uh, misconstrue that as a minus sign. That's the only reason I have it here. So negative cosecant squared of, oh, of what, folks? Of what? 2x or x squared? X squared. Good. And then we're done, right? No. Oh, there's one thing. If you forget this, oh, it blows your whole problem up. But if we don't forget it, we have the problem right. Times what? 2x. Yeah. I want ddx of x squared. This is this parentheses, that's the bracket. We have five problems on our test. <laughs> I'd give you one. I'd give you one problem and it would show you everything. Seriously, I could. I'm not gonna. Because <laughs> if you got it wrong, oh, that sucks. Here goes 20% of your grade. Ha 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 ha, suckers. No, I wouldn't do that to you. I might do that to you if I'm retiring, just don't care anymore. Forget you guys. No, I wouldn't do that. That'd be worse than kicking a puppy. No, about the same level. It's kicking a puppy. <laughs> okay, so kick the puppy. General power. <laughs> Derivative. I kick the puppy for you. Derivative of the inside. Product rule. No problem. Chain rule. We got it. Derivative of the inside right here. That's going to give you two x, and we're done with the calculus. Last step is just to, to organize this little piece over here, and then we're good. We're fine. Also, if you wanted to write this on the denominator of a fraction, you could all you could do that. I'll show that to you as well. So we have negative three. All this junk. This over here, since we have all being multiplied together, that's a negative, that's a 2x, and that's an x squared. A negative, a 2x, and an x squared. Tell me what I write. Good. Again, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could factor out a 2x here and a 2x here. You could do that if you wanted to. Uh, you could distribute the 3 across this, but not that because the exponent. Uh, so one last thing you, you, might, you might write would be 
be all this stuff. times the negative 3, that does not move, it's not associated with that negative exponent, all over that. Would we be good with just one before it? Most cases, yeah. Actually, it depends on how I gave it to you. If I gave it to you like that with that negative exponent like I originally did, that's fine, right? If I gave it to you like one over that, I probably would expect you to go back to that. So you see the pattern in it. Because if you see the pattern in it, uh, you can kind of guesstimate what these derivatives will at least look like. Because remember how this was one over this to the third? And now it's some crap over this to the fourth? That fourth power, and that doesn't come from nowhere. And that's still right there. Because you have all this junk associated with it. How many people feel okay with what we talked about so far? I mean, we start one more, we won't get all the way through it. Yeah. You factor out the 2x right there? Yes, yeah, I was saying that. You could factor out the 2x. This would become uh, negative 6x. This would be cotangent x squared. This would be minus x squared, cosecant squared x squared. Okay. And you could do that. <coughs> if you want to get fancy, you know. <laughs> All right. Two more. Two more. Maybe we'll just, you know what, we'll just talk about them. I think you've had enough. Uh, this, is, this is good enough. We'll, we'll, I'll put them on the board. We'll talk about what they are. And then uh, you can do them on your own. If you want answers to them, maybe I'll, I'll work them out and, and give you answers at the very end of this thing. Uh, just so you can you can see it on the board, but for right now, here's the problems I'll be doing, and then I want to see if you can do them on your own. Just kidding, just kidding. That would suck. <laughs> do you see how horrible that would be? Yeah. You could do it though, couldn't you? Couldn't you? Yeah. General, power General power rule. No. Closure rule. Closure rule. Chain rules. Chain rule. okay. That would be Chain that. Power rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twice in there. What's this one? What's this one? Closure rule comes first. Yes, for sure, because that encompasses the whole problem. Within the closure rule, do you see the chain rules? Yes. If you forget that that's going to have a 2x associated, and it's going to have a 2x associated, that's going to affect your problem. So this is quotient rule, you write quotient rule first. You work it piece by piece, you do the chain rule for each little piece that you come across, and then you're done. Oh, all over the bottom square. Remember that? Yeah. I'm going to work this out for you uh, after class, and I'll have this on the video if you want to check your, your answer. Try that one and see it. So I will work that out for you. The other one is this one. I told you they were going to get a little easier. A little easier. What's this one? Because I've given this on a test before, and I have people giving this all day long. 2x cosine 3. And I go, I kill you. <laughs> I kill you. Product rule. Not that. Product rule change. Product rule first, chain rule within that. Do you see it? And you can handle that one. Okay, we're going to stop there. I'm going to work those out. I'll have them posted in just a little while. Okay, so here we go. Hang on just a second. So we have quotient rule, chain rule here, chain rule here, derivative of a little piece, derivative of a little piece. The rest is just simplification. This one, here's the answer. So I'll get out of the way, uh, pause the video, and then <laughs> look at it. Crikey. <laughs>